In this demo, we implement MNIST image recovery using our fully integrated CMOS RM computing memory chip. The chip contains 65K RM cells and 256 CMOS voltage mod neurons. Together, they realize in-memory matrix vector modification in analog domain with good accuracy and energy efficiency. The image recovery is performed using a restricted Boltzmann machine model. The weights of the model are mapped onto the chip using two different weight mapping schemes. The details of the weight mapping schemes can be found in our paper. This is our measurement setup. On the left side of the test board, this is our CMOS RM computing memory chip, where the Restrict Boson machine model is implemented. And on the right side, we use an FPGA to manage the communication between the chip and the PC. We have two chips on two boards here. Both of the chips are programmed with the same Restrict Boson machine model, but using two different weight mapping schemes that we talked about in the paper. We use Casely Thaus meter to monitor the real-time power consumption from the chip. And this is a touch screen. And we develop an application that a user can play with using their hands. We can click on the pixels to change them from black to white or from white to black. And the goal is to use our chips to recover these corrupted pixels. So let's click on Recover. So on the lower left, the image is recovered by an ideal software model, and we can use its reconstruction arrow as a baseline number. And the right two images are recovered by our chips. So at the same time, we also measure the real-time energy consumption from the image recovery. So let's try a few more examples. We can also change the number of GIP sampling steps and the number of samples used for each image. Let's look more closely at what is happening here. So let's first crop some pixels. Click Recover. Comparing the reconstruction arrow, the models implemented on our chip have higher arrow than the original software model. This additional arrow comes from various sources, including RM crossbar driver IR drop, RM read noise, and conductance relaxation. And then comparing the two differential weight mapping schemes, the sign scheme outperforms the linear scheme due to less IR drop on crossbar bitline drivers. So the weights of this RBM model occupy almost the entire 256 by 256 RM array. So the total conductance of the RMs become comparable to that of the drivers, and therefore the IR drop can be pretty significant. So in this scenario, the sign scheme has an advantage since it has lower average conductance. So let's try a few more examples.